Hello and welcome to a new video where I try to fix things and therefore I'm going to dismantle the things. I have here something uh, which you probably know. Yeah? This one, this is a it's opening. <laughs> okay, there's a button. The button is working. I'm not, I have not to fix the button. What is this? This is a fryer. Yeah? Uh, a fryer which is not working with a lot of uh, oil uh, and how should it work you put in here in this in this thing you put in potatoes or whatever what you want to fry and this arm uh, this arm here is going to rotate uh, Maybe I have to, to change the lightning a little bit. So this arm is going to rotate here. Mm -hmm. Inside there is an arm and this is going to, this needs to rotate. And here, out here, uh, there is hot air, which is then frying this stuff. Okay? This, is, this is how it should work. Uh, however, so this shall be put in here. This is how this should look like. Then you close it, turn it on. We hear it's making a noise. It's getting also hot. Yeah. But what is not working? Not working is the rotation of the arm. The arm is fixed now. Okay. I can show you mm, here. Open this one. I can lose here. Yeah. Cover, simple cover. Yeah. So here, Clo now I hold it closed. The first thing you should not do at home, <laughs> because it's really getting hot in here. But I just want to show you this arm. This arm is not rotating. Yeah. On. Usually this should turn slowly. Steady and slowly, oh, it's getting good hot. Yeah. And if it, it is not constantly rotating, yeah, if this is simply not working, then you know you get here burnt potatoes and here raw potatoes. Yeah, and in between, maybe one or two are fried. Yeah. Actually, it has really nothing to do with real French fries. However, it's quite tasty and is, is this hot? No, not yet, and is an alternative. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find out, I want to find out what the problem is. Uh, still a little bit oil inside, probably this is already the problem. This here must be mounted to something. Yeah. There must be a drive underneath and I want to see what this drive is? Crumbs. Yeah. So let's open this thing up. Let's try to open it up. Uh, first thing, unplug. It's always a good idea. Prolongs life. No, the screwdriver. Just thought I had a set of screwdrivers somewhere. Good. Good, good. Uh, so let's let's see what are the screws. What do we need? Always oily. So here is a little bit of oil, probably. Some Torx. T15. Let's open it. Ooh, now it's a little bit bright, huh? Now it's a little bit bright. It's automatic. Let's open this. There is something not working. Can I open this? Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. <laughs> Aha, the timer is working with batteries, it seems. Yeah, but your timer is okay. <laughs> good? Not that good, there's something broken now. Aha, okay, there is a fan. But now it should be open. I should, should be able to open this stuff. 
Yes. Do it everywhere. Dust. Dust, dust, dust. Ah, but it can, op can be opened. Good. Table. Stick it through. Ooh. Ooh. Look at that. This is grease. This is grease. This is oil. This is okay. I need to wipe this. Mm -hmm. Alarm, alarm. That's true. This must be the drive. This does not look too good. There's oil. What is this? Bleh. Okay, this one I will clean after later. Not plugged in. What is this? Does not smell. Doesn't smell like food. Does not smell like food at all. Okay, let's unscrew this also. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a step driver. Stepper motor. Look at that. Must be a gear inside. That's a stepper. A stepper. But what's what's up with the with the grease stuff? Probably this is the problem. Isopropanol. Try to clean this. Sticky stuff, whatever this is. Maybe it's really grease from which was coming from above. Oil. There is still some oil for frying. Yeah. It's not like it's oil less. Yeah, it can be. Can be oil. To turn this? No. Is it turning? Let's see. Let's see what else have we got. Yeah, so there, is, there are some switches. In here there are some switches. Uh, well, some relays, some fuses. Everything looks fine here. Looking fine. There are nothing obvious. Is this is the switch? I guess no, it's just the switch. Okay, then let's grab this. I connect this. Let's see if this is turning now. After the cleaning, this is the motor. Now I plug it in. I hope not to hurt myself. Is it turning? No. Is it trying to turn? See somewhere fuse blown? No fuse blown. All the capacitors look correct. Actually everything is looking fine. I do unblock, unblock. Maybe we have a contact problem here. This is not looking too good. This green stuff, I don't know what this green stuff is. It's 
drive I can open the case I open the case probably not gonna hurt myself probably not able to close it again meteor oh, that's a type I guess this one has a problem. Let's try if it's working now. Now after cleaning the connector, but probably not. Probably not. I think that's in that. That's it then. But it does something. It is trying. It does something. It is trying something. It is trying. Seems like this is really, really stuck. Take a little bit bigger. I'm not sure if I should be able to move this. Try it once again. If it's again moving, I'm pretty sure there's then a, 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 a torque somehow. Yes! It's turning! You see? Alright, so this was the problem. This was the problem! The grease there! This ugly, ugly grease. Wherever this is coming from. Yes, unplugged. How to fix this? Or is it fixed? Let's try once again if it's turning or not. Yes. Yes, it is. Good. Good. All right. I'm not sure how long, how lasting this will be. This fix. Not even sure if it was a fix or if it's just an indication that there is more, more because this green stuff did really look a little bit suspicious. So also grease, yeah, probably, probably sometimes cooked with too much grease. Ooh, this is now hot. <laughs> hey, well, but hey, it's working. Fine. Let's just have also a look where where our electricity is going. Uh, here's the here's the power cord. Here's the power cord. Uh, let's see, also autofocus, turn on autofocus. The power cord. And we will go immediately immediately to a switch here and this switch is operated here underneath there's a switch the switch is operated by this you hear clack 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 this is this micro switch and afterwards we will power supply the whole other stuff so when this is open yeah, when this lid is open then actually we do not have any power at all in this in this device so that's a pretty secure design, I would say. To if when once this is opening, clack, yeah, we will have it like it would be not plugged. Yeah. And then here we have some engine. I'm not entirely sure what this is doing, but probably it's the it's the blower. Yeah. Must be a blower somewhere inside. Then here, this is the heating element. Yes, you feel it. <laughs> this is the heating element, and the air, get, the air gets blown over this heating element and distributed over here. This is also, this was broken, and I try to clean it once, yeah, and distributed over here and spread over the, over the meat or, or meal. Yeah? And since this is always steering very slowly, this, this, Whatever is inside, you can also put inside 
meat, whatever. Yeah? It's just hot air blowing over it. And if you cover this in a little bit of oil, then it's getting also crispy. Yeah? Not as crispy as real French fries, but much more healthier. Yeah, all right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to finish cleaning this because here there is still a quite some, some ugly grease inside, but this I'm going to clean with water and stuff. And then I will try to put this stuff together again. All right, so I've cleaned everything up. Look at that. Look at that, how the motor now is looking. Uh, much better than before. Much, much better than before. Everything is clean. I also tried to spray in a little bit WD-40 grease. I'm still not sure why it stopped working, but all right. All right? All right. So that's that, the motor. And I also cleaned this stuff here. Look, it's now looking much better, right? I used water and it, it was... It was not that hard to clean, so I, I suppose it's uh, some grease or some oil stuff from from the food. Yeah, that this somehow dripped here and and made this motor stuck. So I'm going to mount this whole stuff together again. Everywhere I'm I'm I. I'm still seeing some grease or some stuff like that. I'm gonna wipe it off. This looks like a ground connector here. I wonder why there is nothing connected. But I suppose it's okay. Plug it in. Okay. Everything in place. Is this as good as it gets? I suppose. Mm -hmm. Good. Everything in place. Now the cover. Mm, how was this? This I have to stick in through here. Nope. Better. Also greasy. Okay, it's looking all right. Fix it. Actually, it's always nice to see the engineering behind what is inside those those devices. There's the back cover. Here's the back cover. Hopefully, I tried to glue it. Hopefully, this will this will work. Good, good, better than expected. Huh? Look, everything is tightly, firmly in place again. And now the only thing which I hope now is that this thing here is turning. Let's try it. Let's also put this already in because after all it shall move this lever here. I will not mount the the cover right now to test it. Ah, okay. Okay, there is some uh, there is some uh, gap in between. You can move this pretty far, and then it looks like it is stuck. But then the motor will catch up, and eventually it will start to turn. Yes! <laughs> all right! All right! This is working! Great! Great! So I have a whole device again. A working device. A whole it was all the time. But now I have it working again. So I can now... How late is it? Quarter past 10 a.m. Uh, 
I will start to cut the potatoes and today it's gonna be french fries. Yeah. Good, now, now we have seen what is inside. Uh, active fry, let's go. Active fry original. Oh, oh, original. Alright, and we have seen, okay, there are some flaws in the design, apparently, because this grease was not normal, but after you clean it, it's still, it's again operational. Good. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.